<laughs> Honey Heart C. So seriously, if you could have your dream horse, and I mean dream horse, look like anything you want, what would it be? Hmm, dream horse, dream horse. Uh, I guess my dream horse would be a black blanket Appaloosa. Ooh, nice choice, nice choice. What about you? What does your dream horse look like? If you could have any type of horse, any type of horse. My dream horse would be a pink horse with a rainbow mane and tail in glitter. Wow, really? That's dreaming big. Well, who knows, maybe one day they'll come true. <laughs> Woo! Many fans, many fans, many fans. Oh, that's right. Dreams do come true. You can paint your own dream horse with the Glitter Plaster Horses set. Yes! Okay, you guys saw this set in my Walmart haul video. I totally found this set, and it looks so cool that you can totally paint your own dream horse to look like whatever you want it to be. Woo! Okay, you get two plaster horses, one realistic horse, and then one fantasy to be any colors you want. It even comes with some paint pots of some realistic realistic colors and of some fantasy colors and some glitter to sprinkle because dreams do come true. All right, let's try it. Whoop. What do we have in here? Oh, I see a horse head. There is a horse head right here. Careful, careful. Don't want anything to break. Come on out. Ooh. Whoop. Okay, we have the instructions and inside of here we have the horses. So there are the regular color paint pots. Here are the fantasy. It even comes with a paintbrush. So let's see these horses. Come on out, careful, 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 careful. You do not want it to break. Oh, this horse is beautiful. So, so, so pretty. Okay, so it looks like this horse is gonna become a beautiful black Appaloosa. And this one we have. Woo. Oh, there's some glitter hanging on here. And here is the other horse. So two little plaster horses. So they're just a little bit different. Also, this plaster horse looks like it's running in a field of flowers. And this one is running behind a fence here. It almost looks like it's running on the fence. Wait, there's flowers on this side, but whoop, some fence piecing on the other. All right, so now I have my two horses and it's time to get painting. So we've got the realistic colors and the fantasy colors. Got some water here in a bowl. Now it's time to get painting some dream horses. Now, of course, for any creative project, you can paint these any way you want. You are in charge here. So let's open up the pink. Since the dream horse is pink, use the paintbrush. Just take the little plastic piece off, and I like to just kind of mush the paintbrush like this to kind of loosen up the bristles. Do, 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 do. Take some of this pink and just start painting. Ba, ba, da. And I can use the water to really dilute the pink down too to create a lighter pink. Just want to make sure this, this coat color goes on nice and smooth. Do, do. Do, do. Do, 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 do. And I wanna take my time going around this magical, magical horse's eye because in my paint set, it did not come with white. So I have to just make do with their eyes, do, 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 with what I've got. But there will be more on that whenever I start painting the eyes. All right, let's let that first coat dry. And now we'll start working on the black Appaloosa. So open this up. Now I have to be really careful how I do my pattern on this Appaloosa because there's no white, so I cannot go back and re-put white at all. So here we go. So I got my paint here, and I'm gonna start painting the horse. Do, 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 do. Paint, paint, paint. And I can use a whole bunch of water to help me kind of spread out the paint here. But I already wanna start thinking about my little pattern that I wanna do on him. So I'm gonna start kind of designing and putting it on the horse. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Little black Appaloosa. Do, do, do. Here we go. I'm gonna go around all these little patches that I made, just kind of creating my own little spots, just randomly. Do, do, do. I can actually color in his mane black. He'd probably have a black mane. Do, 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 do. Just whatever I think should be on this horse, and I'll give him really high little stockings too all while painting the rest of him black as well. Do, do, do. Do, do. Really just let that paint just flow on this horse. And this is a nice, nice dark black. So I am happy to see that, that it has a nice quality black in here. Do, do. Probably only needs one coat of black. 
do another really high stocking. Do 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 do. Careful around the edge of the horse. There we go. Mm -hmm. Do do mm -hmm. do do. Just kind of weird little markings to kind of create additional little spots. There we go. I want to be careful painting around the tail very, very, very carefully. Because again, I don't have any white to fix this if I mess up. Do -do. Careful, careful, carefully paint your tail, oh yeah. Same thing for the horse's face. Do -do. I think I will paint a blaze down this horse's face. Do -do. Do -do -do. There we go. And just paint the rest of the face black. Now it's time for the spots. So I'm just going to take my time, just kind of dabbing on wherever I think these Appaloosa spots will kind of be, and just kind of make them irregular. Of course, they do not have to be perfect. It all tends to work out in the end. So you can just go totally, totally crazy with where you want your spots. Put some big, big, big spots on his back maybe. Maybe one right here. Anywhere you want your Appaloosa spots to be is perfectly fine and okay with me. Big spot right there. Another big one right here. All right, let's let the Appaloosa dry. And I'm gonna paint a second coat of pink on the little fantasy horse now. So hopefully she doesn't look as splotchy splotchy. Splotchy splotchy city. La da da, la da da, la da da. Do, 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 do. There we go, now she's getting nice and dark color. I still have to be very careful going around those eyes. All right, I think we're gonna have to paint a third coat on this pink horse. She still is looking a little bit splotchy because this paint is just a little bit thin. We've used about half of it now, but we'll paint on a third coat. Do, 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 get that pink color going. Even when I put it on super duper thick, it still looks super duper splotchy. Do, 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 do. But we'll make it work, we'll make it work. And let's put on a fourth coat of paint too. Still looking just a little bit streaky. Do, do. Paint, 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 paint. Just wanna make sure this horse has an even coat of paint. Do, do, do. This fourth coat's looking pretty good actually. Now I'm gonna start painting the greenery on the horses. Use the green. Do, do. Now I'm just going to paint the little base stand completely green. Careful going around these legs. Don't want to paint his hoof green. And now on this side, I have to paint around the fence post. So very carefully just paint around it. It's nice that this paintbrush is nice and slim so it can easily get in here and carefully do some detailed painting. I'll just paint the little leaves that are growing on the fence post. It looks like little ivy leaves. For the magical pink horse, I'm actually gonna use the light green. Do, do, to paint the background. And I'm painting over the flowers for now, but I'll go right back and paint over them and add some color to them. Do, 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 do. Now let's add some dark green in. Go back to the light green and I'm gonna paint the bottom of this horse's base as a pretty light green color. Just paint, 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 paint. I'm gonna use this brown color to paint the fence post. And just let that edge of the brush just glide right over to the edges. Take a little bit of this light brown color. I'm actually going to mix it with just a touch of black. Kind of get a gray color. And that way I can paint these rocks. Paint these little flowers in. Now we're gonna be painting some rainbow hair right now. So I'm gonna start with my purple. Painting all the colors of the rainbow. A little purple here. And we'll even have it kind of come right down into her mane right here. And a little on her tail. Mix in some blue. Whoop. Now time for green.
fix that green right in there. Here we go. Yeah, maybe a touch of the light green. Just go ahead and mix it on in there. Nice sunny bright yellow. Yellow is happy, happy, happy. And I can use a little bit of water to kind of blend the colors just a little bit there. It looks so perfect to me. And we'll finish everything out on the mane and tail with a little bit of some pink mixed in there. Just mix those colors, colors. Gonna paint some hooves now, so I've got this tan color. Whoop, except for go around the black paint that I dotted in there. Of course, I'm going to take my time. I like this paintbrush. It has a nice little point to it, so I like it. So it lets me actually get in here real nicely, paint those hooves, give them a nice shape. There we go. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my chocolatey brown color, just a little bit on my paintbrush. And I am going to paint these eyes in. So very, very, very careful, carefully. Ooh. Now I'm gonna use a tiny little touch of black. And right in their eyes, I'm just going to paint it right in the center. There we go. The fantasy horses are almost done. Okay, now we just have to sprinkle the magical, magical fantasy rainbow horse with this glitter that it came with. So it says to add sparkle. It says that once the paint is dry, add glitter by putting white glue, which is not included in this set, down where you would like the glitter to be. So I'm gonna be using some Mod Podge. Open it up. I'm just gonna add some designs to this magical horse by maybe putting a little heart right here on her hip. So with the Mod Podge, just a little heart. Make sure the glue is nice and thick though on there. Like that. Maybe add another little heart on her right here. She's just like a love pony. Just whatever, whatever you want. And of course something on this side of her as well. Nice and thick. So just go over those areas that are a little bit light. Big jumbo heart right here. Now I'm gonna take my little baggie of glitter and here we go. Now I'm gonna glitterize this pony. Just sprinkle it on. Woo! There we go. And right here, let it kind of fall down there. There we go. Oh, she's mega glittered. Good enough. Okay, now I'm gonna let her dry. All right, now that it's been drying, let's go ahead and dust off the glitter by using the paintbrush very carefully. Let's reveal the hearts. There we go. Oh, so cute. Adorable, adorable little fantasy pony. All right, and this side, there we go. Dust all that glitter away. So we just had these glittery hearts revealed. Do this tiny, tiny little heart. There we go. And this big one right on her booty. There we go, there we go, there we go. Ah, the glitter has fallen all over the place. Just dust it away, just dust it away. Seriously, a rainbow horse you think that would ever come true? I don't know, never say never. <gasps> Jennifer, behind you, a pink horse. Huh? <gasps> it's my dream horse. Me! Woo! Here we go. So here is Jennifer's dream horse and she is dreamy. Rainbow mane and tail, glittery hearts on her. So, so, so colorful and amazing. She even has rainbow flowers on her base stand too. <gasps> hey girl, hey. Oh, she's so soft. She's softer than any horse I've ever felt before. She almost has like rabbit fur, she's so soft. <laughs> rabbit fur, <gasps> whoa, it's my dream horse. A black Appaloosa. 
Oh, look at this coat pattern. I could just brush you forever. Oh, yes. These turned out so perfectly. I am so excited with these. These are just absolutely outrageously fun. So now I can display them on a shelf. My little keepsake horses that I painted. It was super duper easy. I love the fact that you can do one realistic and one fantasy if you choose to because you've got two horses or you can do them both realistic or both fantasy, whatever you want, whatever you want, because it is your craft project. These are incredible. Should we take the horses out for a ride? I'll go get the saddles. <gasps> Woo! All right, Min fans. I hope you enjoyed this painting craft video. Remember to take your paintbrush, dip it into a baggie of glitter, and then paint the life that you want to have. You get to paint your life any way you want. Just paint it with happiness. And then don't forget to ride your way on over to my next video for more horse fun. Bye, Min fans. Woo! -hoo! Woo! -hoo! Woo! I know, I know that pink horse was beautiful. And I love those silver glittery hearts on her. She had like three glittery hearts on her? Wait a minute, or, or did she have four? Or did she have five? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten? I can't remember how many glittery silver hearts were on that pink rainbow horse. Ugh.